What is up comments, it's your boy Joy, back at it again with another Wonder K review. If you guys have enjoyed this series so far or anything in my channel so far, make sure to click that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell to get notified anytime we do post. Like I said, we have just reached 100 subscribers, uh, maybe like 2-3 weeks ago. Let's go ahead and reach 200 subscribers as soon as possible, but anyways, let's get into the video. So this Wonder K review, it is a special one, Um, th this is the reason... Blah. So this one to review is pretty special because um it is on a very important player and I think in my opinion in my channel um so um the reason he is so important even though you guys have not seen too much from him is because he's the first ever player in my channel to get a nickname from one of you guys so obviously this was suggested by S scared Nick who seems to countlessly always co comment on my videos and I really do appreciate that probably one of my most um interactive viewers so far um which I really do appreciate but anyways you guys have probably seen his name of this player so many times by scared Nick who's been suggesting him for almost everything so if we go to the starting lineup you can see it is on Gutia so Gutia's nickname in this channel is Golden Boy so from the rest of the video we're no longer gonna call him by his name we're gonna call him the Golden Boy so today's one to review will be on the Golden Boy and obviously he is a striker he's only 16 years old that is the reason you guys will see him constantly almost almost in every FIFA I'll try to use him if not maybe every two FIFA so it is not repetitive so like I said Obviously, he is in pay okay, but since we cannot use P there's no Greece league, we did put him in the closest league that is next to them. Like, as for countries, the closest place to Greece that has a league in FIFA, which is Turkey. So, today's one to review, like I said, will be on the Golden Boy. And if you guys have never seen the one to review, it's not really rules. Basically, we just sim through five seasons. Every, uh, every season, we do check his stats at the end of the season. We take him to account, and at the end of the season, we see his transfer fees, his appearances, his goals, and his assists. As well as the clubs he's played for, and basically, this this is for you guys to see. Should you guys sign the Golden Boy or whoever is in the spotlight? And this episode, obviously, is the Golden Boy. So, at the end of this episode, you guys will see uh, the grade I give him. So, we do give him, like, A+, B+, C+, and all of that. And you guys will see at, at the end of the day, if you guys would want to sign him in your career mode. So, basically, I'm doing something for you guys that way you guys don't have to try it out yourself so if you guys do want to sign kutia i mean if you do guys want to sign the golden boy i'm sorry i forgot that's not his name if you guys do want to sign the golden boy you guys will see at the end of the episode if you guys are satisfied with his growth and his performances but anyways um so what we usually do as you can see there's a couple strikers uh, there's a couple strikers here in the squad so what we like to do is we like to release every player that is higher rated than uh the position that we're playing in and obviously well that plays in the same position right so we're gonna go ahead and release this guy and we're gonna release this guy as well so if you guys noticed um you guys did see that it was zero dollars so what we like to do is we use a cheat engine not to cheat just to obviously do free unlimited releases just in case there's a bunch of strikers in the club and obviously a 99 manager rating so we don't get fired and we can actually finish the wonder Kid review but also at the end of i mean at the start of every season we do like to transfer list our player to see if he gets a good offer it's only if it's realistic we will move but if not he will remain at the same club like the likes of pedri we, he did keep him at the same club all five seasons and but other players we have transferred in the past but obviously the main point is to see how good he does how many goals he scores and how many he grows especially for golden boy since he is a striker so anyways we used to do um have we go by half a season but this time i'm changing it uh, i've been changing it for this past couple episodes and i'm pretty sure you guys like that because it's a shorter video but we go ahead and just go sim to the end of the season and then uh, end of the season end of the season every season so instead of doing every half season we do it every at the end of every season so it's a little bit quicker i know these videos are better when they're shorter but anyways we're gonna go ahead and highlight the golden boy like i said today we're gonna take a look on how good he does and see what he does after five seasons he'll only be 21 so he might still have a lot growing to do but obviously it's only five seasons we don't want the video to be an hour long if we do all 15 seasons but anyways let's go ahead and sim to the end of the season and by the way before that um leave your predictions down below how good do you think uh, our golden boy would do but anyways let's go ahead and sim to the end of the season and let's see how the golden boy does on season one a few inches later okay so as you can see we have reached the end of the season and i'm not really sure to expect i don't know this pa okay so, squad or the turkish league too much so let's just go ahead and see how the team did it doesn't really matter how, how good they did but we did finish 11th place. I mean, it's decent. Mid-table. Is that mid-table? Yeah, it's like mid-table. Uh, 40 games played, 13 wins, 11 draws, 16 losses, 50 goals, and 50 points. Not too bad. I'm pretty sure Galatasaray, yes, they won the league. We're not, we weren't in the Europa League. I don't think so. So, I'm going to go ahead and see how the Golden Boy did. Hopefully, he did pretty well. He is only 63 rated, so maybe he didn't do as well. But let's go ahead and check. So, as you can see, the Golden Boy did play an outstanding 43 games. And 9 goals is not too bad for a 16-year-old who was 63 rated. And as you can see, he grew up a plus 2. I don't know why it's not showing his growth. But he was 63 when we started, and now he's at a 65. So, it's a good, good, good season for him at the very beginning of his first season. Obviously, you might see less growth from him because he's only 16 years old. And obviously, we'll only do goal 5 seasons. But anyways, 
So I think we're gonna keep him at the club again because um, it's pretty realistic that he stays here again one more season at least. And if he does blow up, maybe we'll give him a move. But anyways, 43 appearances and nine goals is not too bad. Plus two growth. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to the next season. So we are in season two, and like I said, we're gonna keep him here. It is pretty realistic that he does stay here. Obviously, he only had his first season last year, so and he did pretty decent not amazing amazing but he did pretty good for a 16 year old not like we're like really really good but not amazing amazing obviously he didn't hit mbappe levels when mbappe was around that time but it's still a pretty good season from him so we're gonna go ahead and send to the end of this season for season two hopefully he does a little bit better but anyways let's go to the end of the season and hopefully he does well as you can see i just want to share this real quick his potential did go up he is now showing great potential i think his potential was at like 80 or 79 so he didn't have that i think it's only 81 plus that they do have that but anyways i just want to show you uh, it's showing great potential. Maybe next season he will have exciting prospect. Who knows? But anyways, now let's go ahead and go to the end season and let's see. Hopefully he does really, really well. A few moments later. Okay, as you can see, we have reached the end of season two. So we're gonna go ahead and see how the team did. I don't think it's looking pretty well. We did pretty bad in the last month, but let's go ahead and check. And we did finish 13th. So decent again. We did go down two places. 40 games played, 11 wins, 12 draws, and 17 losses, 62 goals, and 45 points. But anyways. All that matters is to see how good the golden boy did. Okay, as you can see, he has improved so from a 65 to a 71. That's that's really good, guys. So obviously he did play 45 games, 13 goals. He, this is his second professional, this is the second season of professional football. He has scored double digits already. So 13 goals and one assist is not too bad as well. So like I said, six uh, six increase in overall. That's really amazing to see. So. As you can see, he's really becoming that player that Nick has been hyping up so much about. But it is only the second season. He still has three seasons left to prove himself. But anyways, really, really, really good season from the Golden Boy. But anyways, let's go to the third season. We might go ahead and transfer this Might as well or maybe not. We'll go ahead and see depending on what offers we do get. But I will see you guys in the next season. So we are in season three. And as you can see, I was right. His thing went up to exciting prospects. So I kind of caught it. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and transfer this Let's see what offers do come in. If a realistic offer does not come in for him, then we'll go ahead and just keep him here. Another season and maybe in the third season, he will move. But like I said, he's only 18. So he has a lot of time. Even after his five seasons, he's only going to be like 20, 21. So him, he would be one of those players that you can use for the whole career mode. And obviously, that's really amazing to see. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, see if we get any offers. If we do not get any offers, I will just go to January. Well, I'll see you guys at the land day. Either way, if if we do get an offer, but obviously, you guys will see an offer. But if not, I'll see you guys in the land day. Probably saying that we did not get an offer. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys. So <laughs> I'm so mad. I realized I wasn't recording for some bit. So I <laughs> I'm so mad. So I'm sorry, guys. But... As you can see, uh, we're going to Besiktas. There was an offer for our golden boy for 15.5 million. I'm going to show you guys right now, but I can't believe I wasn't recording. I remember it's because I had messed up on something, so I had to um, I had to stop the recording and do it again. So as you can see, the golden boy is now in Besiktas. So he did move for 15.5 million, and actually I was gonna check. So he did play a couple games before we moved to Besiktas because we, we weren't getting a lot of offers. So I decided to send him to Besiktas because. Okay, it did transfer, so uh, I was looking at the, because he had already played for games, he had five uh, games and two goals, so it did transfer, so uh, I don't need to leave that other bit in the video. I mean, I didn't even record that part, but, so the reason I decided to come to Besiktas is because um, POK, a lot of players were rejecting their contracts, and there was literally nothing I can do to keep them. I cannot sign any other players, so obviously the club was going to fall apart, kind of like the born out situation in the last one in could review, but... So now the Golden Boy is now part of Besiktas. He will try to be here for at least one season. I didn't want to stay in the Turkish league, but it was the honor for we got. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and step to the end of season and let's see how the Golden Boy does. Eventually, we have reached the end of season three. Let's go ahead and see how the team did. And it doesn't look good. I hope I didn't make the wrong transfer to go to Besiktas, but it's just for um, Gutierrez to have a better team around them because, like I said, a lot of players were running out of contract. But let's see how the team did. Maybe top six at least would be pretty good. They finished up exactly six plays, so I was correct. Um, 40 games played, 19 wins, 9 draws, 12 losses, 67 goals, and 66 points. It's not too bad. Way better. P as soon as uh, the Golden Boy leaves, P-A-O-K -okay, get third place. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. But anyways, let's go ahead. They probably made some transfers, to be honest. But let's go ahead and see how the Golden Boy did. Guys, he finally got top goal scorer for a club. And as you can see, a plus 5 in his rating again. Well, last time it was 6, but he's now 76 rated with 48 appearances, 23 goals, and 1 assist. 
this man is truly becoming something special. Uh, Nick was correct on um, how amazing he is. And obviously, we didn't get to see him grow my career mode. But maybe one day we'll sign him in another career mode. But anyways, amazing, amazing third season. This is his highest, best season yet in goals. But like I said, 23 goals is really amazing for him. And let's see next season. I'm going to transfer list him again because I do believe he deserves something better than this Besiktas. But I did want to move him close so he could perform like this. Like This is the main reason why he performed like this. Where he has better players around him to help him. And obviously, a lot of assists for the other players because the golden boy cannot be stopped. He scored 23 goals at 19 years old. But anyways, let's go to the next season and let's see what offers do come in. Okay, so we are in season four. Two more seasons left to go. And we're going to transfer list him again. He's the only exciting prospect. I wish he was a little bit higher. Maybe next season, first final season, he'll be... Uh, has potential to be special maybe but anyways we're going to transfer list them let's go ahead and skip a couple days let's see if any offers do come in if not i guess he has to stay as best he does but i really do prefer he doesn't but anyways i'll see you guys when we do get an offer okay so we do get two interesting offers here but i'm really tempted by that burnley one i have no idea why i feel like he could play for a bigger club but i do want to see him in the premier league we don't usually go to the premier league in these one career reviews and i would really like to go hetafe is interesting but i think i want to see oh, shoot, i have no idea what to do I do want to see my Burnley though. We're going to reject the head traffic one and want to delegate for the Burnley one. How, let's see, how how much can we offer for him? I'll just even say. Let's go to, just go delegate it. I hope this doesn't scare him off. Let's go for 60 mil. Go down uh, minus 10 mil, but let's see him a couple days. Maybe we'll get another offer. But anyways, let's see what Burnley do say. Like I said, I'm very tempted for Burnley. I hope it's not a bad decision, but let's go ahead and see him a couple days. Let's see what uh, Burnley decides. Okay, before even that Burnley offer came back, I do get a Sevilla offer. And that's, I know I did say I want to go to Premier League, but this is actually very interesting. So we're going to go ahead and allow Sevilla to come and offer. We're going to go uh, 50 million. Let's see what they do say. I, I'd rather go to Sevilla. much rather go to Sevilla because that's definitely, that should definitely be European football. Burnley won't have European football, but anyways. We're probably going to get rid of that Burnley offer and let's see what Sevilla do say. So as you can see, they didn't even get close, but I do want to accept this offer. It is a really good offer. 37.7 million for the Golden Boy to Sevilla. It's a really, really good offer. And we do get a second offer from Freiburg. We're going to go ahead and delegate it just in case that um, Sevilla deal doesn't go through, which I do hope it does. So let's see him a couple of days. I hope, I'm hoping. Let's see if the Golden Boy does want to go to Sevilla and we'll go ahead and follow him because I don't want to be in Biscuitas anymore or in the Turkish League in general. So let's go ahead and see him a couple of days. So as you can see, the Golden Boy has accepted the offer from Sevilla for 37.7 million. It's a lot of money for a 19-year-old, I think he still is, maybe even 20. And like I said, he does deserve this move, a European move. And I'm pretty sure they have Champions League. If not, Europa League at least will be good for him. But anyways, let's go ahead and go follow him to Sevilla. And hopefully he does really, really well there. Okay, so as you can see, Sevilla has accepted our offer. Obviously, we are using the cheat engine to go ahead and transfer to Sevilla to follow our Golden Boy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the squad. Let's see who we have to release. Um... He is 76 rated. He's pretty high rated now, but I'm pretty sure Sevilla have high ratings. I don't know why I actually didn't click that button, but let's go see. Take a look at the squad. So, ooh, the striker is 68 rated. Okay, Alero, and then there's Abubakar and Muriki. So, we're going to have to release all of those players just so uh, our wonder kid, I mean, our wonder kid, our golden boy can play. I don't know why I said. And yeah, he should be the highest rated after that. We do release those players, but take a look at this team. I actually want to put the best team possible just to double check that. So, we can see if this was a good decision to move over here. And it looks like it was. It was around like uh like late 70s and 80s so it's not too bad they do have a lot of depth which is something good to see and yeah that's probably the best side it'll get oh no colar okay so we're gonna go ahead and release those pairs like i did say because we need the golden boy to play as much as possible he's already 76 rated and just to confirm he is 19 years old so aladio is going to be out of here so is muriki um let's see who else danny okay hold on let's continue releasing i do want to uh, bubukar there we go i do want to release probably niane and with and Danny Gomez, and they're one rating below. I even want maybe want to release this guy, but we're gonna go ahead and keep this guy just to have a decent backup just in case the Golden Boy does get injured. But anyways, let's see how the Golden Boy does do. Hopefully he does amazing in this fourth season. One eternity later. So as you can see, we have reached the end of the season, and it actually looks way 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 more improved than the other three the other two teams we've been in the past three seasons. So we finally get all three victories in the la at the end of the month. But anyways, let's see how this team did. But that doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and see how the Golden Boy did right after that. That's what matters. But what did the Sevilla team? They finished in fifth place. So we're outside the Champions League spots. So no Champions League for the golden boy unless we did win the champions league or europa league which i did not check at the beginning within the champions league let's go ahead and see so yeah they did lose to liverpool 7-3 in aggregate that's crazy so let's go ahead and see the most important part of the video how the golden boy did in his fourth season oh my god guys he's actually he's really really good like i didn't expect this much growth from him so fast like he's growing so so fast I, you guys you guys are seeing it like 
Uh, I don't know how he's doing it. 44 appearances, 17 goals in his first La Liga season. His first season in the top five league and he does score 17 goals and one assist as well he did go up plus four he is now an 80 rated and if obviously this is only five seasons long so maybe he'll reach an 84 85 at max and obviously um he does have way more as you can see he's only 20 he has way more seasons to go but we only do five seasons so it's sad to see that next season won't be the last season and we won't see him grow to his full potential which to be honest at this point will probably be a 99 he's been doing so well probably like the fastest grower we've ever seen in a one k review so far but the golden boy uh, proving why he is the golden boy in this channel and I know Nick is over the moon right now watching this video But anyways, let's go to the final season. We're not gonna trust for this time. We're gonna keep him here at Sevilla might as well So let's go and see how he does finish in these five seasons So here we are in season five and as you can see he's reached it. He did go up a plus one But he has a has potential to be special So the golden boy does have a 90 plus potential in his fifth season Like I said, we probably won't see him reach that 90 rating in this video because like I said We only do five seasons. So it's sad to see but you guys you guys already know you probably should sign him to be honest like i didn't expect too much from him like i know he's a good player but obviously he was only 16 and 63 rated i didn't expect him to do this one he's just he's out of the like just blew me out of my mind right now and obviously we have one this one last season he's 81 now the highest rated striker in this team because we did release everyone else but anyways let's see how he does in his last season in this one to review and i'm hoping he reaches um i think he has let me go let me head check him real quick i do have it in my notes he does have 63 goals, so if he does score, so if he does somehow score 37 goals, he will reach 100 goals, and that would be truly amazing for a 20, 21 year old. But let's go ahead and see how he does. Let's go ahead and see him to the end season. Let's see how this golden boy does. Uh. Okay, so we have reached the end of the final season, and uh, it's a horrible, horrible end to the month. But that doesn't matter. I just hope that could. I mean, the golden boy did do a good job. I keep calling him the, by his name, but fifth place again i mean it's decent like i said this is the last season so it doesn't matter too much 38 games played 23 wins six draws nine losses 75 goals with 75 points hopefully the golden boy was a huge huge part actually i forgot to check the europe league hopefully he was a huge part of the goals but let's check the europe league real quick let's see how far we did make it obviously not the final you guys would have seen it in the calendar we lost in the quarterfinals to olympic leon but anyways let's go see how the golden boy did in his final season oh my god i can't believe it dog i can't i can't i can't believe it bro how this guy has got a plus four again dude he's i swear he's gone up like tons every season and 25 goals that's probably his best season yet he was a little bit off the 100 goal mark you guys will see in a little bit but this guy nah nick nick you're right you're you're so right he's so good i, I don't know i'm sorry guys uh this is probably the best review i've ever seen he started so low rated in five seasons he went to an 85 now that's crazy but Anyways, 15 appearances, 25 goals, and 3 assists for the Golden Boy. He is now an 85 rated. Next season, he probably would be a 90. Easily. At 22 years old, it's crazy. Kind of like, gives me Mbappe vibes. Obviously, Mbappe probably did score more goals throughout, but... Well, maybe. I don't even know. Uh, I don't even know. I haven't even checked, but... He's up there. He's up there, guys. Probably one of the best reviews I've done in a while. Probably one of the best players I've seen grow in five seasons. Like, I've done so many career modes and not many players grow like this. It's usually a youth academy player grows like this. And obviously, he's an uh, actual player in the game. I just didn't expect this from him. But anyways, the Golden Boy, amazing season. His best season yet. But anyways, let's go ahead and see his all-time stats for these five seasons. Okay, guys. Let's look at the Golden Boy's all-time stats. After five seasons, he has played for three clubs, which is PAOK, Besiktas and Sevilla. As for appearances, he did get 150 appearances exactly to the dot. And for goals, only 12 off. He got 88 goals in his five seasons. And obviously for assists, it was all very low. It was four or five. I think I may have lost count a little bit. And as for his fee, um, it was around. I think I also messed up on his fee, maybe by like three million. So it's around 50 million to 60 million. So it was around there. So as for his grade, guys, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm sorry. He does deserve an A plus. Like. That was crazy. I've never seen that much growth in a player in five seasons. Like, it's so hard to get a player like that, especially when you're not playing with them. Like, you have to think about the fact that I did sim through the seasons. I had no, nothing to do with him whatsoever. I just transferred him to the team. Obviously, uh, got rid of all the players in his position that were higher rated than him. And he just did everything this on his own. So, like I said, an A plus for him. But anyways, that's been a successful review. Let's go ahead and end the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to click that like button, the subscribe button, and that notification bell to get notified anytime we do post. But if you guys do have any suggestions for another review, make sure to leave it down below. But anyways, make sure to do the things that you love, the things that make you happy, and just be yourself, man. It's been your boy, Joy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day, and ciao.